Today we're exploring in and around one of the most visited features in all of Death Valley National Park. Welcome to the famous Zabriskie Point. The views from this spot are some of the most iconic in all of Death Valley and it's not hard to see why tourists and photographers have been flocking to this overlook for decades. In fact, Zabriskie Point has been the backdrop for countless movies and photo shoots, including the Easy Rider movie, Star Wars New Hope, and YouTube's Joshua Tree album cover was actually captured at this spot. Check out these views. Long before this area became a tourist attraction, these badlands were carved out by weather and water for eons, culminating in the beautiful formations that are striped with an array of colors. Now, the darker material that caps several peaks was actually formed by lava of an ancient volcanic eruption, which has altered the rate of erosion, causing some of these ridges to be higher than others. One of the reasons this spot is so popular is the accessibility. The walk up to the overlook from the parking area is only a fourth of a mile up a short hill and it's fully paved, making this one of the easiest hikes in all of Death Valley. The colors of these rock formations will change and shift throughout the day as the light moves across these hills. Zabriskie Point is a national historic landmark and it was named after Christian Zabriskie, who was a prominent member of the Pacific Coast Borax Company from 1885 to 1933. One of the most prominent of these higher formations is Manly Beacon, which was actually named after William Lewis Manley, who helped members of the Lost 49ers eventually make it out of Death Valley nearly two centuries ago. Make sure to walk all the way up the trailhead to read the informational plaques at the top of the viewpoint.
While this is a great short adventure, there are several longer day hikes available from this spot. Near the parking area, you'll find the trailhead that leads to the Badlands Loop, which is two and a half miles weaving through this otherworldly terrain. And if you're feeling extra spry, you can connect this with the Gower Gulch Loop, which will take you all the way down to the Golden Canyon Trailhead and back for an additional four miles. Please remember the leave no trace principles on your next visit here. If you do venture out into this wilderness, please always come prepared, bringing plenty of sun protection, extra water, a good GPS device because it can be easy to get turned around in these badlands and the weather can be brutally hot and dangerous. And remember proper footwear wherever you're hiking. While Death Valley does have many highlights, Zabriskie Point is such a quick and epic stop. No Death Valley trip is complete without visiting this area. Thanks so much for joining me today in Death Valley. And for more detailed information on this spot, see my full Zabriskie Point blog post at flyingdawnmarie.com. There you can also check out my full section on Death Valley. And I even have a complete Death Valley travel guide with pinpoint map locations and driving directions to some of my personal favorite spots here. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next week, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go.